internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got another guest on the line today, and this is from the other side. So it's PM for her and it's AM for me. And we're bridging the gap in the spiritual world. And it's Julie, right? That's it, yes. Your last name is Lewin, right? Yes. I've got a magician friend, Nick Lewin. He uh, works in Las Vegas now, but he's originally from the UK. So he might be a relative of yours. He could be. <laughs> he could be. We have relatives in the UK. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the way I do these interviews, I do them kind of fast so we don't take up people's valuable time and uh, we get them as much information as we can in a compact amount of time and we just find out who you are, what do you do, where do you do it, when do you do it, how do you do it, and the big old why question. So the first thing is, who's Julie? Married, kids, who are you? Yes, I, I'm married, I have two adult children, they're both married and uh, we are very blessed with our in-laws, uh, our daughter and son-in-law and we live in the country. We ran away from home from the children six and a half years ago, and we love living in the country. And we have seven chooks and uh, our own veggie garden, and we are living the tree change life. You said seven what? Chucks? Oh, sorry. Ch chooks, chickens, hens. Aha, uh -huh, see? Communication barrier. <laughs> yeah. Chickens. Okay. <laughs> now we chickens. know what a chuck is. A chuck is a chicken. Is yeah. See, we use two syllables over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> chicken. <Yes>. Chicken. <laughs> chuck. Get it yeah. done. That's good. You save time when you talk about chickens. It doesn't take so long to say chicken. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what is it that you do? I read some of it, a uh, medical intuitive. Uh, is that the essence of what yes, it is you do? That's okay. the essence. I've been doing that for 32 years and I step into people's bodies and I feel in my body what's going on in their body and it tells me where the blocks are. So I write all of that down and then I talk to my client about that and then I show them ways of releasing the, the blocks in their body and releasing the trapped emotion so that they can feel good, remove pain and... Um, move forward in their lives. There's a lot of people that don't believe in that kind of stuff. I come from both worlds. I come from the logical end of it, and I'm definitely very metaphysical. My wife is a shaman, so I get to see some cool. bizarre stuff that happens. But some people don't believe in it, so I like to summarize. Has anybody ever walked into a room and you just feel different next to someone? And that's kind of what you're talking about. You get to sense another person's uh, energy field, if you will. But that gets a little weird for some people because they think, I'm an individual, and that's just a bunch of schmuck. And But I don't think a lot of people can't deny that they've gone into places and they just go, I don't like that person, or I do like that person. So that's kind of the what you're talking about. You intuitively kind of just know that something's going on, right? That's it. That's exactly right. Yep. And that thing that you were just talking about, I call that your energy signature. Yeah. It's a bit like your thumbprints, and everyone has one. And you can actually tune in and read somebody's energy. Yeah. Yeah, and some people will think that it may about the past life stuff. Are you getting energy from someone far or distant? But it could possibly just be this life that we're living in. And if they can absorb that and really comprehend that capability, then they can see how a person, maybe they were brought up one way and it was totally yeah. different than the way you're... Like good, a good example is some people used to say that French people are like rude but when I went over to France, they're just assertive. They just get it done. So over here, it might feel like, how come you butted in front of me? Well, because you were not stepping in line and making your order. That's why I'm getting things done. <laughs> that was a bad French accent, wasn't it? <laughs> but they're not rude. But, they're just but, assertive. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Different people have different opinions on what goes on so when when do you do your works i mean this i, I kind of ask this as a two-part thing are you in your peak in the morning or in the evening because right now it's evening over there 
Um, probably in the evening, yeah, but I do day. most of my work during the day, yeah. and um, I'm trying to not work in the evening so that I get myself into a good routine so that I go to sleep and that I'm not still awake at one or two in the morning. So I try to, you know, do that properly and be in bed by 10, which is about now. And it kind of goes into now where where do you do your work? Do you do most of your stuff online? Do you have an actual studio where people come out to, to your home or your office or do you go to them? I, or? I, I have I do have a studio, but most people I work with online on Skype, exactly like what we're doing here. And I work all around the world. So time and distance is no problem with the work that I do. And, uh, you know, it kind of freaks people out a bit that I know so much stuff about them just by stepping in. And I teach them how to look after themselves so they don't need to keep going to other people. They can manage their energy and their emotions themselves. I think a lot of people got to let go of that being freaked out about this kind of stuff. I mean, I'm just expressing my own opinion right now, but, uh, but some people that like, like hypnosis being a, a magician, I'm savvy to some how hypnosis works, but some people are afraid of it and it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just intuitively knowing some things because as ourselves, we can look in the mirror and there's things about us. We just don't know cause we just can't see them, but other people can. It's kind of like having a stain on your shirt. And if you're not looking down to see it, you don't know what's there, but other people do. That's it. So it's, yes, that's kind exactly. of what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I've had people who wouldn't look me in the eye because they thought that I could hear their thoughts and see what was going on inside of them. And um, they have some but skeletons I don't, I don't. in their closet, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. So how do you do your work? Um, is there a process that that you follow, or is it kind of intuitive all the way and just kind of get a hit and? Whoop? No, there is a process. I do a little prayer and I step into the energy body of my client and I have their name and their date of birth so that I've got the right person. And my body starts firing off and it comes as fast as that. And my my challenge, I guess, is to remember all of those things that fire off. And then I write it all down. And once I've got it all written down, I go step by step through the, what I've written down with my clients. Sometimes I'll put a little asterisk next to something and that tells me that that's really important and that they really need to do some investigation on that or do some more work in that area. And I'll send people to the doctor, to the naturopath. Um, I don't claim to know everything that can help a person. I work um, through visualisation uh, the language of the mind is pictures, so I use a lot of pictures to describe what I want the body to do. I work in the holographic body or the phantom body, whatever you want to call it, or the energy body, and I've worked out a way where when we work in that body, we have a, an impact in the physical body and pain can disappear in in a minute or two minutes. People who they couldn't lift their arm up, three minutes later they can lift their arm right up like this so how that works on is still a mystery to me but what i do works. well that, that kind of like the time thing i'm into the time thing i've got all these little time deals and then i've got another little thing over here it's a little little sundial deal i'm into the time thing because the reality is is time is made up and so mm -hmm. you're the things you're doing can happen immediately once a person knows that it's healed um like with this exactly. Skype stuff this stuff happens so fast it's basically almost real time going from here to the other side of the planet it's fascinating to me so that same thing i think happens in the spiritual realm across distant lands exactly it can happen immediately it does so before I ask my, my favorite question, why don't you tell us how to get a hold of you and uh, like websites and things of that sort. I'll, of course, put those links in the posts yeah. and things that I do. But uh, just share with us, how do we get a hold of you? Do we just Skype you or tune in? Yep, <laughs> you can go to my website, <laughs> tune in, uh, julielewin.com. And I've also written a book, so a, a whole bunch of my work is oh. in my book, and that's at Arakira. A R W E K. Um, 
Do I have a copy? Yes, I do. Hey, there we go. So that's my book. Oh, it's good to see the copy because it's Eric here. Oh, so it's sort of it's spelled backwards with a K in the middle, right? Arik? It Eric. is. That's cool. right. Yep. It. So um, that first word, a Arakira, I have the book available on that website. Um, and... And, of course, the julielewin.com for my medical intuitive work. And perhaps yes. on Amazon? I don't have it on Amazon. Well, we might no. be able to help you with that. Me and a friend are working on uh, doing things to Amazon, so it's possible we might be able to help you with that. <laughs> so, Thank you. <laughs> so on the other side of things, let's get back to the big – I like to ask my big why question. Why is it you're doing this? Why aren't you like uh, raising chickens or clucks or whatever you call them, chucks? <laughs> Why aren't you a <laughs> ski instructor <laughs> or, a, or, a, or a truck <laughs> Do you know trainer? what? <laughs> Why do you do what you do? Uh, 32 years ago, I had a clairvoyant reading and the clairvoyant said, if I choose this work, I would overcome illness in my 30s and 40s. I would have many happy moments in my life. I would live into my 90s and I would be a benefit to the world. If I didn't choose this pathway, I would be dead by now and ha and be very ill and have a very unhappy life. So I decided that I would um, follow his guidance. And, you know, the, the truth of his, his prediction was there. The year that I was 54, I think he said I'd die at 54, and I had a recurrence of the cancer that I'd had when I was 40. So, you know... It, I decided I better better do the alternate destiny, and the more I do it, the more well I am. So that tells me that I'm doing the right thing. So that might have been a little turning point there. You could have made that decision. To me, decision is sort of uh, like a that's to cut off. You decided to go a different path, and then when you had that reoccurrence, mm -hmm. it was just a validation of see, cool, I love it. Yeah. Well. I'm going to tune this one off because I don't like I don't like to take too much time. This is just to get people to know, like, and trust who you are, and I will propagate this out to the world. Julie, I appreciate you taking the time from over there. I had to wake up early. You know, it's 7 a.m. over here. Holy smokes. <laughs> but I'm an early riser. I got up at 4 o'clock. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness. Thank you very much. You be well. Thank you. I will see you. Bye.